another vlog. I think I haven't vlogged in so long on my yeah, channel. another vlog? But I think I'm trying to copy you because that's what you say every day. What? You just say that when you start a vlog. Just say, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another vlog. Well, I'm with Casey, as you can see. And we are in London because we had to come here for a meeting. And I just thought I would vlog with you, for you, because it's a bit different. And what are we going to be doing in Afton? Well, well, we got a four minute walk. Yeah, we're currently just trying to find a hotel that we're meant to be having a meeting. And then we'll see what we're going to do. I don't know if it's because we always go to Oxford Street or whatever, but this definitely doesn't look like London for me. I don't know. It kind of looks like Paris. Paris. I swear, I don't. Paris. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the old buildings, but it's really nice. So we finished the meeting and then we're going to go to Nando's. And turn out the soft drink machine wasn't working. Which is a fix. Exactly, because that's the only, not, not only, but like one of the main. My ring. <laughs> anyway, so one of the reasons why we wanted to go to Nando's is because the world was so thirsty and it's like unlimited drinks and it wasn't working. So we decided to come to Wagabamas, which I haven't been in so long actually, and we used to go quite a lot and I love it because I always get the ramen. And what did you get? Well, I usually get the steak food bobby, right? Which is a really nice food. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this so I usually get is the best I see. Sorry, carry on. Yeah, I usually get steak and gobby, which is very nice, by the way. And then today I ordered that, and then while she was like reading it back, I was like, actually, can I change? I want to get the chicken katsu curry, <laughs> which is what most people get when they come to Wagamama, because I've never actually had it. You've had it so, once? Have I? Yeah. Oh. I'm saying to the really like it. <laughs> My food has just arrived and how amazing it is. Oh, I just love it so much. This is uh, Wagamama ramen. So basically, it's like noodles with miso soup, kind of like a miso soup. And then it's got like chicken, egg, mussels, and just some other bits. And Casey's eating his. <laughs> it's got katsu curry, which I think is so spicy. I know it's not meant to be spicy, but I'm so bad with spicy food and I just think it's spicy. So we are back now. I mean, we actually got back about two and a half hours ago. And I was literally so tired after it. So after we went out for lunch, I literally, I don't know what happened. I mean, it's been happening quite a lot lately. Obviously, I mean, not obviously, but I assume it's because I am pregnant. But I just feel like my energy just drops. Like, I'm fine. And in the next second, I just feel so tired. So by the time I was finishing to eat my lunch, I literally, I was almost falling asleep on a table. Unfortunately, the day wasn't really good today. It was really rainy and I was really tired. So we just thought we would come back home. And then when we got to the train, literally I said, okay, so I think I just plugged my phone in and I completely like passed out on the table. I don't actually remember getting in Brighton. I felt like I needed a nap, especially because to be honest, I'm not, help I'm not helping myself lately. I've been going to bed at like 1 in the morning, which I know is awful. But I just really struggle to fall asleep early. Like, I get in bed at like half 9 and then we usually like watch something. And I don't know. As long as I try to put my phone away, I just, I just think to really, really struggle to sleep. And there's one thing that I wanted to do before I went to London, but I say it was in such a rush. Which, I really wanted to show you guys my outfit. Cuts my face out but you can just get the idea of the outfit. So basically, I was wearing these this trousers, these white trousers are from Primark. Got my boots I've got from Brazil, but I've been wearing them a lot lately. And then I've got this little like vest that is from Max, I think. Uh, no, New Look, sorry. So it's like a vest. And then I always like to throw it on top of like my leather jacket which is from Topshop, and also my jumper from Primark. So if I take this out, you can see, it's just like a vest. So yeah, that's my outfit. And well, let me show you my bag from Teddy Blake. And they kindly sent me this bag about a week ago, and I just literally, I absolutely love it. That's what I use every day now, because it's so basic. And trust me, I'm so addicted to bags. Like. I have a collection of bags and it fits quite a lot so I'm just gonna show you that 
I take this to uni every day. So today I'm using it like you can open the sides, but today it, just, it was just closed. And so yeah, I'll, also I'm just gonna quickly show you what I've got inside my bag because I love watching what's in my bag videos. I've done one on my channel as well, but it's like an upda updated little version. So I've got my diary here where I put like the stuff that I have to do. Then I always have like a water bottle with me. This one is empty because honestly I drink so much water. It's ridiculous. So I always carry a water bottle with me. Then I have my pencil case that I take to uni because as I said this is a bag that I use every day. Then I've got this sunglasses. This is how hope hopeful it was today to be sunny. So I brought my sunglasses that I got yesterday from Primark and I actually think they are so nice. Like they were only two pounds. And like wait let me open it for you. I just love them. Then I've got um sweet tank because I always have to have something in my bag like gum or like little sweets or something. I've got my concealer that is just don't know what's doing there, it's just like a random, but yeah, this is just my bourgeois concealer. And I've got my card holder, and can I just say something? That, honestly, this changed my life, because I used to carry such a big uh, wallet with me, such a big purse. And now, I just have the basics here. And the last thing that I have that I find is so useful is just this bag here that I have every single thing I need. And I find it useful to put, in, to put in this bag, otherwise it's just going to be like all messy inside of my bag, you know. And obviously I've got receipts, because who doesn't have receipts in the bags? <laughs> right, so I'm just about to get into bed, but before that, I thought I would quickly film, like, I get unready with me, because I get so many requests to do a skincare routine. And that's something I do when I do on my channel, but I want to do like more in-depth. But then I just want to quickly show you what I do before I go into bed and by the way just bear with me because I have you will see now I mean when I start taking my makeup off I think you can already see the biggest spot ever in my forehead like I don't I don't often get spots but then when I do they are massive and this been give me a headache for the whole day I'm not joking like you can see like how big it is and I don't know it just looks like I've been hit by a ball or something I don't care, you know, everyone gets spots and that's normal, so... First thing I do is, if I'm wearing fake eyelashes, which I am today because I was in a rush, I just take them off, and you have to be a bit careful not to, like, rip your actual eyelashes off. And then, usually, like, on my everyday makeup routine, I wear a lot of mascara, like, I don't actually wear fake eyelashes, but I have a lot of mascara on, and... What I used to like take my makeup off is this Pure Clean Water by Kiko because I used to use the Garnier Micellar, micellar I don't know how to say water and then as well I'll try this one out which is pretty much similar but just so I could like try something different but I think that this gives me like an allergy in the eyes I don't know how to explain it I just feel like my eyes are really sensitive so that doesn't work for my eyes so I use the Nip Plus Fab um, Daily Cleansing Cleansing Pad Cleansing Pads. So I just take like one. So this is just like for my eyes because I do like to make sure that all of my mascara is off. So what I do is like I take one. It's true here. So I take one and I just press it on one of my eyes and I just leave it out for like a few seconds so it like dissolves my mascara. And also, I like to take my, my eyebrows off with the same pad. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with the other eye. But this is how it looks like after I took off, so look at how dirty they are. <laughs> this is just for mascara and my eyebrows and whatever. And then what I like to do now is after I use the cleansing pads, I will come to my water and then I just go over my eyelashes. I'm gonna look in the mirror, but then I think you can see on camera. So like, I just go over them like that, just to make sure that there's nothing left on my eyelashes. 
because I like to apply a lot of mascara as I said and look how much of a difference it makes like I took a lot with my with my pads but this literally just like cleans out quite a lot as you can tell my brows are clean and now I'm gonna move on to my skin I love having makeup on my face, I just love having the feeling of a fresh skin, you know. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I do go to sleep sometimes on makeup on, which is not good, but I just feel a bit disgusted. <laughs> like, I can kind of feel like my foundation getting the pillow, you know. So, there is nothing better than actually taking a makeup off. My skin, it's all clean, I don't have any makeup on my face, I don't have any makeup on my eyes or anything. I'm gonna go into what I put on before I go to bed so I always like to put like a serum on my face or a moisturizer and I always change like there's no one product that I, I use every day and so today I'm using the Nippon Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum so it's just like a serum serum I don't know how to you say it but I just put like literally a little bit on my finger and then I Put it here, here, and then on my forehead, not too much. I'm gonna, just gonna apply it. I'm not gonna put it on my spot though because I just feel like this is gonna irritate my spot, you know. Spot slash lump slash whatever you want to call it. Last but not least, I'm gonna be using an eye cream. So this is the number seven Protect and perfect intense advanced eye cream because I do have really bad bags under my eyes and that's everything that's all of my get and learn with me that's what I do every single day before going to bed and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video slash vlog let me know what you thought about it make sure to subscribe to my channel and like it and i also am going to link all of my social media down below if you haven't seen if you don't follow me on instagram or snapchat to be honest i'm using more insta stories now because i think it's more interesting like you can make boomerangs and things like that so make sure to follow me on instagram and on twitter because i love talking to you guys on twitter like every time you say something to me i'll pretty much all the time reply i just think it's so interesting so I'll see you next week.